Hey there everyone and welcome to today's episode of Montreal Marijuana Canadian Cannabis. For today we have an awesome sativa, one that we've actually seen already, but it's such a beauty I just had to bring it back. It's a strain called Red Congolese. So let's check it out. Wow, just look at this gorgeous nug of red Congolese. It's a nice bright lime green color with these super long, vibrant, bright orange hairs sticking out everywhere, looking absolutely beautiful. It's clearly going to be a sativa structured bud, super long, stretching out, absolutely awesome. It's a very compact, dense, mature looking nug, really appreciate that. Great trim job, no extra leaves, just tons and tons of trichomes. This red Congo sure doesn't disappoint. Wow, just beautiful, bright colors on that nug. Between the lime green and those vibrant orange hairs, it was absolutely stunning. So now, let's break it on open and see what the inside looks like. Boom! Let's sneak on up real quick and get a closer look. There we have it. That's exactly what we want to see. Just tons of full-headed, shiny, mature trichome heads. Absolutely awesome. And on the close-up, we can actually see that those orange hairs make it all the way to the center. Just beautiful against that bright lime green color. I am stoked on this red Congo. Between the super compact mature nugs, great trim job, and beautiful mature trichomes, this one should be good. Exactly what I want to see. Tons of beautiful mature trichomes, nice compact dense nuggetry, great trim job. I am stoked to check this one out. But first, let's break it on open and see what it smells like. Ooh, nice and fresh, that's good. Ooh. Mmm. Damn. Like a... Like a cheesy, lemony, earthy... God, that is just beautiful. Mmm, super strong, super bright. Mmm, first and foremost, you get that lemony, earthy, but then right behind it comes this beautiful, cheesy. Oh, man, it smells so... I wish I could just keep smelling it. This red Congo is amazing, but I'm not making a video here just to smell the cannabis. Let's try it on out and see exactly what this red Congolese has to offer. But that beautiful, tangy, earthy, cheesy smell. Absolutely awesome. Super excited about the smell. Beautiful, beautiful looking cannabis. Like we said before, pretty sure it's going to be 100% sativa. So we should get some gorgeous heady traits off this bad boy. But we will see very soon, I promise. Let's just grab a decent amount of this red Congolese. Dump it in our paper. Make sure it's all placed properly. Just put it all here. Make sure everything is good so we can get a good idea of what this batch of red Congolese has to offer. So super stoked to be checking it out again. Last time I remember it being a beautiful sativa buzz, although the taste might not have been 100% there, so hopefully this batch is a little better. Let's just make sure it sticks everywhere here, team, and then we'll pack it up to make sure it burns properly. Just pack it up here real quick, and then we'll check out this red Congolese together. So far, beautiful look, beautiful smell. Hopefully, the smoke is just as beautiful. So let's just burn off that extra paper here, and let's check it out together. 
Red Congolese. Cheers. Okay, very smooth on the first puff. Mm. Nice medium body smoke. Very, very fill up your mouth with beautiful flavor. No scratchiness whatsoever. Nice and smooth, easy to smoke. So far, pretty darn good. Mm. Beautiful taste. Just fills your mouth up with gorgeous, heavy flavor. Nice medium body smoke. Super smooth, like I said. Absolute pleasure to smoke this red Congolese. I'm going to take one more puff here. Then we'll take a quick look at the ash. Man, it's like the smoke keeps getting heavier every puff. Just beautiful. So let's take a quick look at this ash together. As you can see, really looking good. It's got a nice gray color to it, really consistent. No black in there. And you can even see the beginning of a res ring if you look carefully. Absolutely awesome. And exactly what you want to see. This ash definitely does not disappoint. Mm. I mean, I did expect the ash to be nice and gray just because it's such a nice, clean tasting smoke. You could really tell, even before you look at your ash, if it was flush properly. Just beautiful, clean, smooth smoke. Exactly what you want. Now when it comes to the taste of this red Congolese, before we said the smell was a earthy, lemony, tangy, cheesy, just a beautiful, strong smell. And that's exactly what comes across in the taste. Beautiful, strong, earthy, lemony, tangy, not really much cheese coming across from it, but just a beautiful, strong taste that's absolutely awesome. Now last, but definitely not least, the buzz on this red Congolese is definitely going to be sativa dominant. I don't even feel it in my body whatsoever. Just straight to the head with those happy euphoric sativa dominant buzz. Absolutely awesome. So, with this batch of red Congolese, Considering the look was a nice, bright, vibrant green with these long, vibrant orange hairs. Absolutely awesome. It was a long, compact, dense, mature nug. Clearly looked like a sativa with that long bud structure. Had a great trim job, no extra leaves. Just tons of nuggetry and beautiful, full-headed trichomes. Exactly what I want to see. The smell was a earthy, lemony, cheesy smell, absolutely beautiful. Smoke was a medium body, super smooth smoke. Smoke filled up your mouth with a heavy flavor, super clean smoke like I said before, which is clearly apparent when you look at the ash. Nice gray ash that even had a little res ring, exactly what you want to see. The taste, like I said, was a beautiful, lemony, earthy taste. Didn't really have that cheese, but still absolutely beautiful terpenes. And the buzz was a heavy sativa dominant buzz that goes straight to the head with those beautiful heady traits. Absolutely awesome. So considering all that, 
I'm going to have to give this batch of red Congolese a 9.5 on 10. So, that's been this week's episode of Montreal Marijuana Canadian Cannabis. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next week. And as always, peace and love. Cheers.